everyone should visit Barcelona at least once. The capital of Catalonia and Spain's second city, Barcelona, is utterly incomparable. It's one of the few must-see cities with its own identity. This is partly down to a generation of early 20th century artists and architects like Antony Gaudi, whose unforgettable buildings are like nothing you'll see anywhere else. Barcelona is a bustling city that lives up to its reputation, a thriving cultural center with brilliant museums, magnificent restaurants, and the sort of nightlife that just keeps on giving. So, are you ready to see Barcelona? Let's go! The journey begins at Las Ramblas, easily the most famous street in Barcelona. This 1.2-kilometer boulevard starts at Plaza de Catalunya and ends at the statue of Christopher Columbus down by the port. If you're a tourist, it's one of those things that you have to do. In summer, you'll be under the shade of the tall plane trees and shuffling through the crowds that pass living statues, street performers, bird sellers, and flower stands. Occasionally, you'll catch the whiff of waffles, gofries, being baked. Once you get to the water, you can keep going along the boards to visit the Mara Magna Mall or Barcelona's Aquarium. Whatever you do, you cannot skip the Sagrada Familia to appreciate the nearly 140 years of work that has gone into this very quirky basilica. You couldn't come to Barcelona without marveling at its contrasting facades, sculpted details, and stained glass. It is a project of incredible scale and ambition that is still only around three quarters complete more than 140 years after Antony Gaudi first became involved. When its spires are finished, it will be the tallest church building in the world and hardly resembles any religious structure you'll have seen in your life. The Sagrada Familia combines several architectural styles, including Catalan modernism, Art Nouveau, and Spanish late Gothic. Our next stop is at the city beaches. Barcelona's beachfront boardwalk stretches for miles, giving you plenty of options and as much beach time as you need. It will take a good hour to get from Barcelona to Diagonal Mar on foot, but it's a walk that really helps you understand the city. The westernmost beaches like St. Sebastia are busier and more touristy, but as you move along the waterfront after the Olympic port, you'll find a bit more room and more Barcelona locals. Many of the city's beaches feature beach bars called Cheringuidos, where you can take a break from the sun and sit back in the shade with a cool snack and a refreshing cocktail. At night, they turn into great little party venues with spot-on music and even better vibes. Have you ever heard of La Boquira? This is an iconic site and educational experience in one. There's been a Boquira market in Barcelona since medieval times, though this exact spot has only witnessed trade for about 200 years. That elegant and distinctive iron and glass roof you'll see was put up in 1914. Whether you want to do some food shopping or just take in the sights and sounds of a bustling urban market, it's a real eye-opener. It's a grid of permanent stalls selling fruits, vegetables, cold meats, cheese, as well as olive products. The whole market converges on an oval plan of fishmongers in the center. Cool off with a beer and a tapa at one of the market's bars. While Tibidabo Mountain is a fairground, it's also so much more. You'll first notice it from the city center. High on a summit, the silhouette of a majestic temple makes you curious to go. Officially called the Temple Expiatory del Sagrat Cor, 
Its roof is topped with an enormous bronze statue of Jesus that you can take an elevator to. Mind blown, you suddenly see the charm of the amusement park next to it, like its retro-styled attractions, such as a Ferris wheel with ColourPop seating pods built for the views as much as the screams. Round off your Barcelona experience with a trip to the garden complex on Carmel Hill called Park Ghoul. Many make the trip to this part of Gracia for those gorgeous panoramas over Barcelona from the park's main terrace. You'll have seen these serpentine benches and their mosaics on postcards and in movies. Elsewhere, there are colonnades, fountains, and sculptures, all in the architect's distinctive style. If you still haven't had enough Gaudi, you can enter his house museum, where he lived from 1906 to 1926, with furniture and decorative items designed by him on display. Now you are well prepared for your first or next travel to Barcelona. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to click the subscribe button and give it a thumbs up for more travel content. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.